my god you guys this is like the fifth time i recorded this but hey what's up it's sunny Ovi, and i am back with um an intuitive message for you guys since i haven't done one in like two weeks today is the six a lot of sixes wow today is the 6th of june 2016 and i press record on uh 6 16 p.m but right now it's 6 17 p.m easter time hey if you live in va shout out to va okay but anyway um thank you for everybody who's ordered a special with me if you ordered a special on the third i think no no yeah if you ordered a reading on the 31st of may just know that you will get your reading um before 12 a.m uh tomorrow which will be the 7th okay my uh my special thingy, the information for my special said that everybody would receive their reading within three to five days. I don't work on the weekends. That is always in the description bar where my business is closed. I don't work on the weekends. So if you ordered, like, if you ordered a reading, like, on the third, just know that uh, Monday, today, will be the second day. So that's how I operate. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you ordered your reading before the 31st and you haven't got it, please check your spam, okay? Um, what else? What else can I say? Oh yeah, the angels they wanted me to talk about the number six. Uh, six is a very positive. It has its positive and its negative side. Every number does. But six is a really good time to compromise. Um, good time for beautiful energy, very inner child-like energy, connecting with uh children, connecting with family. Um, also with six, be careful of greed and power. Some of you, you may be a bit too big-headed during this time. To me, the number six is representation of ego. And to me, the month of June is just all about ego and taming down ego. So, yeah. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. But this whole week seems very fiery because we have a lot of fiery elements that's going on for this week. Um, I know last week, I believe there, yeah, the new moon was, um, around the 4th. So, the new moon was, was not, was nice. I feel like with new moons, um, to me is allowing for things to come in. So, you must let go of things in order for new things to come in. Uh, if you did your rituals or your hoodoos, voodoos, whatever, fairly good. But I feel like with the new moon being, um, in Gemini, things were kind of like tug of war-ish. So, many of you, and you may be feeling this energy now like you may kind of feel at odds with certain things that you wanted before this new moon so uh, a lot of ideas and a lot of circumstances are changing during this time because either you're seeing the true side of it or I mean you just you just seeing the true side of it so it is what it is but at the same time please be aware of you saying oh I want this no I don't it's, it's kind of weird but I do want it again because that is really going to cause this tug of war and that rope may break and you may not get it at all so just allow for that energy to just just go with the flow just kind of like temporarily let it go because I'm picking up like the more you think about it the more it's going to kind of go away from you anyway so just be my just be mindful of what your focus is uh during this time but on the six which is today we have the sun um conjuncting with venus okay so this is going to this is kind of this is very inner very interesting energy very interesting energy so i feel like a lot of you like you just want to be heard or you want to be looked at in very uplifting ways you want people to see your good side maybe today some of you like you just want it to look good you want it to feel nice like how i am i got on makeup and my hair is all big and poofy so yeah <laughs> that's really funny but um yeah many of you you want it to be seen in a very positive light also i feel like with this energy things are a bit self-conscious so maybe you were kind of questioning oh should i do all this or i don't know i feel like if you were looking for someone's approval today you may not have gotten it i'm picking up that um 30 percent of you may not have gotten some sort of approval that you were looking for um i also feel that um 
and I feel like this energy is still going to transpire throughout the throughout the week, maybe throughout the month. Uh, with the sun conjuncting with Venus, really good time for us to expand our point of views. Especially if you are on this kick of self-discovery or just wanting to elevate or just wanting to like just really merge with people you are going to have to see other people's point of view and just be more be more accepting during this time if you feel that you don't really compromise with people well or if you just don't really understand what people are talking about uh just really ask yourself is it me or is it them okay um nine times out of ten it may be you just a little bit but I mean that's understandable like you don't really see people's other people's point of view this card popped out at me so yeah there's going to be a lot of up and down back and forth kind of energy but I feel like with this you guys are going to have to be able to tame really interesting because this is the Leo card and to me the sun is a representation of Leo so that's really really interesting so maybe my Leos were affected with this energy for positive or for negative it just depends upon what's going on so just make sure your ego isn't too big, okay, and that you really understand where people are coming from. And you just take the time to understand, for real, for real. So, but yeah. But on the 8th, Mercury is sectiling Chiron. Now, with this energy, I feel it's going to be kind of laid back because Mercury is the... It's the um, planet of communication. Just positive movement forward. Like trying to be positive movement forward. Okay, but it's all about communication. And to me, Siron is just kind of kind of dark, kind of laid back in the cut. Like, okay, so I'm just going to let you pass by. So I feel like with communicate, like with these two cards, like not these two cards, with these two uh, planets, whatever, like coming together. I feel that this is going to be a really good time for making amends, just really understanding, kind of similar to the sun and Venus, like just really understanding where people are coming from. Uh, you may find that people want your advice, or you just deeply may want other people's advice during this time. Like, yeah, really emotional time, but for the better. This card is um, talking about healing and taking your own advice, seeking uh, advice from other people, really good time for going to therapists during this time, uh, just just letting things flow, just being honest, just being open, so this, this may be kind of vulnerable for a lot of people, um, for better or for worse, it just depends upon your view upon communication, and if you're willing to be vulnerable and open to things that's going on, so that's really interesting. On the 9th, we have Mercury um, opposing Mars. This may be kind of conflicting. Yeah, yeah, that may be kind of conflicting. Because once again, Mercury is um, all about communication and just trying to move forward. And Mars is very stubborn to me. Um, it is the planet of war, energy, and status. So I guess just be mindful once again, this whole ego trip and you feeling at odds with things, okay? Um, Cause like I said, with the new moon and Gemini, things may have been kind of conflicting yet, yet opening. Cause I'm picking up the things were releasing things, you were more aware of things, but I do see how things are going to kind of feel back and forth, especially with Venus being the planet of love and very lucid, kind of daydreamy planet so many of you you may be daydreaming about a situation or a person that's kind of weird but i feel like um with the sun and with mercury you guys are more understanding of reality and it, and it's kind of like conflicting with your with your ego and your emotions so that may be kind of weird but back to mercury and mars um it's just and also mars to me is the planet like of movement of movement and like I said, energy. So many of you, you want to get things done. Please be careful of you rushing. Rushing to get things done. And it's like you're running around with the chicken with his head cut completely, completely off, honey. Like, you guys are just going to be so crazy on the 9th, for better or for worse. You can say that how you want to. But just calm down. Drink some, some nice warm tea with lemon. Uh, do some yoga, get your workout on uh, to get rid of that energy because it's going to be very, I got to get this done, I want to get that done. You may take your anger out on other people. It just depends upon what other planets you have in your chart and other signs you have in your chart as well. Um, 
I don't know why I'm picking up on Scorpio. So Scorpios may be affected with this energy. I mean, it really depends upon how much Scorpio you have in your chart. Okay. Um, but the angels are just telling me Scorpio. So uh, that may be kind of weird. I also feel that with um, Mercury and Mars, some of you, you may be questioning yourself as well. It's like you want to get stuff done, but... It's just back to this self-conscious, not really sure what to do kind of energy. So, all these planets is really going to be fucking everybody up. For real. Like, it has its benefits of getting stuff done. But you are seriously going to have to be very level-headed. And be mindful of paying attention to the details, yet seeing the bigger picture at the same damn time. Like, it's really what I'm seeing with this. Because this shit is just like, haunty. Haunty, haunty. Okay, but on. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go that far. I don't want to go that far. But I will, I will do another reading for next week because I want to do these weeklies because I really like getting into astrology. I really, really like it. So, yeah, that's what's going on and maybe kind of conflicting. But I feel that we will be okay if we use a proper mind. Okay, but let's see. Overall messages for everyone all over the world. Does not matter what you are. Does not matter your sign, your age. I don't discriminate, Hunter. I don't. But um, six cards for everyone all over the world. For the energies of this week. Maybe a little bit of next week. However far you want me to go. The angels, they are giving me this. I'm just seriously picking up on like Hercules and Zeus and Zeus's wife and Pegasus and the the man the Mercury he had like the wings on his shoes I can't think of his name I'm just seeing all of that so and I'm seeing like there's a cloud and a shining light on land so many of you you are aware of situations that's going on many of you you may be walking away from a certain situation that has caused you heartache but I'm seeing that a lot of you are still hesitant with what to do some of you you're trying to eat healthy I'm picking up that some of you are you may be going back to a past lover um, or it's something about a relationship that you were already familiar with you're going back into so maybe you were friends or maybe you really had a relationship with this person and just friends six cards for everyone all over the world important messages that everyone needs to understand six cards okay nice nice okay 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 yeah so a lot honestly you guys you need to let things play out don't rush into things don't put your life in anybody's hands don't be like, oh, I met this person. They're so sweet. We're going to have kids. Like, nah, just just wait it out. The energy wants everybody to seriously think long term. Yet, yeah, it seems like, like I said earlier, like you're going to have to see the details, yet see the bigger picture because the cars are saying you're going to think long term, yet stay short term as well. There's a lot of conflicting energy, like, oh. Uh, but it's doable though. I feel like it's doable. I feel like a lot of you, like, you may want to just take some time out to reflect and really understand what's going on. I feel like this is more for my air and water signs. Aquarius, Gemini, Libras, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. You may want to just, like, be to yourself, really understand, like, how you're feeling, what's going on. I feel like many of you, you are thinking more business-minded during this time. Or you are more aware of who's been lying to you when it comes to business and money. Especially my water signs. Like, you're, you're seeing who's real. You're seeing who's fake. And you're understanding what you did wrong in the past. Yeah, especially my water signs. My water signs, you're really going through something real, um, when it's involving your money and business. I feel like a lot of you like you want to remain hopeful and you want to remain serene but you don't want to be played for a fool you don't want people to just run over top of you and you are becoming more aware to the reality of things I do feel like many of you your focus is on your money 
or your focus is on someone who you were familiar with i feel like from my water signs you may be or you may have dealt with an earth sign capricorn Taurus, virgo and this may be their sun their moon and or their rising i feel like you're either thinking of this person or you're dreaming of this person and you but you really don't know where to go with this situation yeah i feel like things may have gone kind of distant and communication may have been stopped or communication will stop in the near future so it really just depends upon what's going on between you and this this hair is like popping out between you and this earth sign person but i feel that for a lot of you really good time for you to be careful of you um being a hypocrite or like you saying things that you don't mean because i see that that is going to be very very out and open some of you like you may just say things to get what you want or to look nice or to just i don't know it's gonna backfire though like don't say things you don't mean like don't don't be mean that's that's not cool yeah th this is ego speaking you're gonna have to be able to control all of that many of you it feels like everybody is busy either everybody is not getting enough sleep or if you are getting sleep i feel like this either you're not sleeping enough or you're oversleeping and you're still tired because the angels are saying even if you are oversleeping you're still going to be tired because with okay if you've been sleeping a lot the angels are telling me that you are reliving karma. You're facing karmic debt and the energy is, is really making you tired. Or your soul is trying to avoid karmic debt. And subconsciously it's just like, okay, well if we sleep we don't have to deal with it. <laughs> so that's going to be really, really interesting. Yeah, you, yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a lot of karmic debt. Things that happened 5 years, 15 years, or maybe 500, 5,000 years ago. It truly just depends. But you guys are going to have to like cut this cord eventually. Or you can go to a professional to cut this cord. Okay? I do feel... Um, some of you may be dreading court during this time. Some of you may find some disappointments with court. Um, this may be for my air signs, Aquarius, is Gemini, is Libra. It truly just depends upon what you got going on. Okay, if you know you're going to lose, honey, nine times out of ten, you may. Yeah, this is something that you're going to have to heal and deal with and just move on from. I also feel like for my air signs, there's a sense of disappointment. Someone feels as if you're leading them on. This is for some cases. Yeah, some people feel as if you are just like not taking them seriously. However, some of my air signs, you just started a relationship with someone and you feel the energy and it feels very refreshing. But I do see that someone from the past, whether this is on your end or their end, um, is going to try to come back and make things more complicated. So start off as friends. I feel like you guys are kind of in this fantasy land. Some of you may be dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. I feel like you guys are it has potential but you guys need to be more realistic of this relationship so if you've been talking about having kids um, getting married then you, you need to slow down okay you, you definitely need to slow down yeah be patient yeah be patient with all that's going on because I'm picking up the true colors aren't really surfacing yet like true personalities you know like when you first start cupcaking like you just want them to see your good side so yeah um i do feel like many of you you are going to receive blessings from your divine god and angels and messages uh to let you know if you're on a good track or if you need some help if you need help honey please ask for it please get the hell out of your head and ask for it stop being stubborn and ask for it okay because i do feel that this energy just seems very conflicting and it's just a lot going on a lot of like mental energy yet it's nice and sunny and everybody's feeling good and nice but then it's just like oh i'm tired so yeah this is going to be really conflicting for a lot of people but i do feel that this is going to be a really good time for you to express yourself and um helpful ways let people know how you feel without being too aggressive um practice assertiveness if you can um I do feel for my fire signs. What's going on for my fire signs? Some of my fire signs, you feel a bit confused. 
either okay 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 let me go back my fire sign males you feel kind of confused either you're thinking about your mother or you're thinking about a significant relationship my fire sign males there may be someone who's pregnant around you or you may want to have a family with this woman but i'm picking up that a part of you just wants to flirt and have fun yes see yes a part of you just wants to flirt and have fun and mingle but a lot of my aries men you may have someone at home who may be pregnant or you've talked about pregnancy or marriage but my fire sign women you're really feeling yourself you're really feeling spicy sassy the fire element may be really coming out and you may be more attracted to reds and and um orange and i'm hearing browns so that's really interesting i uh, i also feel like you guys need to focus on work and focus on what's more important i do feel that my fire sign women you may be hit with a blow and this may require for you to work more i feel like money may come out of your pockets a little bit um if you've been thinking about changing your wardrobe um and also in the past if you use your credit card a lot or if you've gotten loans i feel that um yeah it's kind of catching up with you now or you're realizing oh my god if i would have saved money i would be further off right now or just very stress free if you are waiting for money you will be all right you will be all right okay um blessings will come in slowly but surely they will come in i feel like a lot of you like you just want to be treated fairly you want someone to really understand where you're coming from and i feel like someone wants this with you but it, it may be kind of difficult for some of you i feel that many of you you are receiving um process of moving forward but i'm picking up this whole back and forth like you guys really need to be sure of what it is that you want hold on yeah you really need to be sure what it is that you want I do feel like a lot of you, this is going to be a really nice popular time for some of you. Uh, especially if you have Libra in your chart. Really, really good time. Really, really good time. And I feel that for some reason, the Libra energy is going to allow for you to be productive. And it's going to allow for you to um, really just get things done. Start things without any hesitation is what I'm hearing. Um... I also feel that there is an attraction with Libra. So my Libra women and men, you may find that people are wanting to just get to know you, honey. So that's really interesting. But I feel like my Libra people, like, you want love, but you're still thinking about someone from the past is what I'm seeing, most definitely. Yeah, but I feel like you are getting a new perspective of what it is that you truly want to do. I feel that a lot of you, you may be turning your back on situations that... That isn't really doing you any justice. Um, I do feel that a lot of you, you are thinking more long term and you're thinking about marriage or proposals um, or pregnancies. I feel like a lot of you, you're really thinking, you know, who, who do I want to marry? When am I going to get married? How many kids am I going to have? Um, that is a beautiful thing, but the angels are saying in due time it will happen. Just... Be good to yourself and allow for someone to really treat you with respect. Understand your worth is what I'm hearing from the angels. Truly understand your worth and understand what's really going on within your life. And once you do that, this is the card I pulled out. Once you do this, once you understand your respect and you understand your worth and you show respect to yourself. I said that backwards. Um, that is when stable love is going to come in or you are going to be able to really choose what you want to do is what I'm truly hearing. Um, the messages seem very, very beautiful, and I truly like them. I feel like a lot of you, you are going through a breakthrough. Unexpected changes is what I'm hearing. Things that you did not expect is seriously going to happen, for better or for worse. You can take that how you want to. But with the energy, I feel like this is going to help you, regardless of what's going on. Um, it's going to help you with your direction. It's going to help you with who's real, who's fake, black and white. If I'm picking up on, there's no more gray. In other words, stop riding the fence. Really interesting because what what was it? What was it? The energy of oh let me go back up. The energy of Mercury opposing Mars was very like 
ugh, really conflicting. So I feel like if you guys just remain level-headed and really understand what you want and stand firm to what you want and you know that it's going to be a successful outcome, then I feel like you will be okay. Yeah, you will be okay. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of haterness going on or you're going to like discover like people talking bad about each other like rather it's in like comments facebook in person like there's gonna be a lot of that going on i, I mean it may be ego because ego is just like really really weird and to me the month of june is all about ego it seems like this card is popping out we're gonna have to cut that out because it's really really not good really really not good but i feel like um the energy for this week and a little bit of next week is gonna be really really nice to be honest because we are releasing burdens and we are releasing negative energy from our life and we're truly understanding what we deserve to be honest yeah we're definitely walking away from um tricky situations and if you are in a tricky situation then you are more aware of this situation but let's see let's go with love life for my fire signs okay so aries love life for aries first card on the top release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so let go of an ex let go of just the past okay aries dilly no no not aries um leo love life for leo 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 Leo's love life. What's going on for Leo's? Playfulness. Sorry, my computer froze up. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So really good time for you guys to, I guess, be yourself and be charming because this may attract someone really nice. Ooh. Okay, so Sagittarius. Love life for Sagittarius. let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so really good time for you guys to get some feedback some honest feedback from people who really care about you uh water signs okay pisces love life for my pisces yes what is that cool cool let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold unnaturally so go with the flow just really understand what's going on many of you you may be putting a lot of high expectations upon stuff okay um cancers what's going on for my cancers love life for cancers i'm seeing someone in chat and shackles that's interesting make the effort um great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so allow for someone to really show you that they're into you and do this in return but i just feel like things need to be more just more real like just more understanding for my cancers scorpios what's going on for scorpios with love flirt Ooh. extend your light-hearted energy to others really good time for you guys to just go with the flow um, have fun and just see where it goes some of you I'm picking up to me the flirt card is it just it's just like flirting around if you are in a relationship you may feel as if your mate is flirting with other people or someone isn't taking the bond seriously earth signs earth signs earth signs Capricorns my love life well not my love life Ugh, I am a Capricorn Ooh, cards want to pop out messages for me very true very true <laughs> okay capricorns capricorns love life let's see what's going on for my capricorns okay let your friends help you ask for and support ooh, 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 ooh. ask for and accept support from others this card is sliding out honey past life relationships you have known each other before so some of you really interesting because i talked about some of you maybe going back to a past lover so just get insight from your friends um and just see where it goes i guess so many of you you are going back to an ex or you're thinking about it um Taurus what's going on for my Taurus love life 
it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all oh so many of my Tauruses maybe you found love and you may be kind of hesitant or a little bit scared especially if your past relationship was like really really hurtful but you guys may find love so that's nice Virgos what's going on for Virgos when it comes to love getting to know each other really interesting because I saw a butterfly um, as, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So take things slow, really get to know each other because there's something beautiful and blossoming that may come about this relationship. Air signs. <sighs> okay, air signs, love life. What's going on for my crisis? First card on the top. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. With this, I just feel like there's a connection to someone spiritual is what I'm picking up on. Um, to me, the religious factors is like having similarities to people, someone who's really on your level. Um, but I'm just really picking up on like a true spiritual connection, possibility of a soulmate coming in. So that's interesting. Someone is going to help you really help you so good luck with that Aquarius. um gemini's gemini's love life what's going on retreat really interesting because i i kept hearing questioning it's time to disconnect from the world some of you you may want to be by yourself or you may um you and your partner may decide to like this uh take some time out alone or you may be separating taking some time to really understand what's going on in the relationship to um separately um who's next libras libras love life what's going on for libras uh codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so addictions as in maybe drugs um drinking addictions like to each other becoming too dependent upon each other may occur during this time um, I also feel like someone is accusing of somebody like there's like not really trusting is what I'm hearing with the codependency so that may be kind of conflicting but good luck to everyone hopefully your week is awesome um, with the separation card I feel like you guys need to separate fantasy from reality and really understand it too so I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Good luck with everything. And I should be making more videos for mid-June really, really soon. Bye.